Hey, what's up? This is Paul Soltz from Super Easy Apps. I want to show off a new timer tentatively called Super Easy Timer. If you are interested in beta testing this, I've got a link down below. I want to talk about one of the features in this, and that uh, is sort of the intention of the app. So I wanted an app that was easy to use. Uh, I want to quickly set timers so I can type something like 20 minutes. And when I press enter on my keyboard, it will auto start that timer. So this is a very intentional app. If I pause it, I'm expecting it to stay paused. And so in this case, uh, I will allow you as a user to just reset the time. So let's say you want to reset the time, move it off to the side, and you want to deal with this uh, a little bit later when you're ready to get started. Maybe you need to go to the bathroom first. Maybe you need to grab a drink. Maybe you've got your cup of coffee and you want to have a sip before you hit the ground running with your first task. Whatever you're going to do, uh, this, this pause feature allows you to be intentional about the timer. And if you hit the play button, it is going to start the countdown. Now, once you've activated the timer, either by pressing enter or by pressing the play button, you've now intentionally started the timer. And so here's where the, the little bit of logic is going to behave a little bit different. Now, I'm looking for feedback on this, but this is how I like it to work. So it might not be uh, how you expect it to work, but I just want to see what you think. Uh, I want this to restart the timer. A lot of times, maybe I, I had to talk to someone who came to my door or I got a phone call or something. I try not to to have that happen when I'm doing my, my productive work, but sometimes it happens. And so in that case, I can just go ahead and restart the timer and it's gonna start the countdown. So that lets me just sort of reset and be like, okay, for the next 20 minutes, I'm gonna focus. And that's how I'm using this to write blog posts. That's how I'm using this to work on features. That's how I'm working on bug posts. Just trying to track my time a little bit better and not even tracking, but just like being accountable to the time that is counting down from some big number to something smaller. So if this is interesting to you, uh, I have a little sign up for the beta down below, and uh, I wanna show off one other feature, and that is the sound effects. Now, uh, a lot of timers will stop making sound effects when they go off, but if you know anything about kitchen timers, they tend to go off a lot, and they don't stop until you interact with them. That is how we designed this to be out of the box. So when I set a five second timer, this is going to count down from five seconds, and then I should have sound effects on. So hopefully that's recording. You're going to hear a little purr sound. Now you can customize the sound. Right now I've set it up to a purr sound, and it's going to keep going off until I stop it, which is intention, or if I hit that reset button. All right, so we start that again. If I hit the play button, it's going to count down. Five seconds, it's going to go off. Now, a cool thing that we added is you can type anywhere in this text window. So if this has focus, you can start typing, okay, I want to do another five second timer and start that and it will just disable the timer. The other thing you can do is pretty much anywhere you can click is also interactive as well as the reset button. Now we talked about intention, stopping the timer is going to reset it so that it's ready to go, but it's not going to auto start. If you want to reset it, you click this button and that will start the countdown again. So that's a little bit about a intention and you can always pause or start the timer over again. I can pause it, reset it, so that we can get started again. So that's a little bit about getting started with the timer and setting it, pausing it, and some sound effects. So we built it out of the box uh, to be useful in situations where, let's say, you're starting to make coffee and you need to turn the tea kettle on and you want a timer for maybe eight minutes or 10 minutes, however long it's gonna take to boil that water, so you set a timer, let's say it usually takes me about eight minutes. I want to make sure that I'm not too distracted when I've got my music going. So if I've got Apple music up and I've got some kind of uh, music going in the background, let's say it's the, the minimalism, I could go through, play this, and then uh, I have something that's going to keep me accountable that I've got the tea kettle on. Or if you're cooking something, now, right now, we've limited it to a single timer, or we're looking for feedback, so if you want multiple timers, let us know. The, the common use case for me right now is just focus on one task, one thing at a time, so that's why it's designed this way, but if you need more than that, let us know. Again, sign up down below for the early beta test where you'll get free access to this new Mac app, and then if you like this or if these features are interesting, hit the like button on the video. I would really appreciate it. All right, so thank you so much. And I, I look forward to talking to you again uh, about some of the other features like dark mode.